You ask me who I am, and yet, when I answer, you may find it hard to believe. Still, you must believe me, else I'm not what I claim to be. I am a radiant youth in love with love. I am a dull and aged shopkeeper whose dull and shiny life is regimented to the tinkling of the doorbell. I am a magician with many secrets. I'm a penurious miser, a magnificent spendthrift. I am the soul of good. I am the personification of evil. I am all things to all men, but only if I can make you believe that which I claim to be. For ladies and gentlemen, I am an actor. I bombed that monologue when I was in high school. My theater teacher, Gus Matthews, assigned it to me. Gus was a one-of-a-kind Texan. The only thing Texan about him was his accent. He was like, Hey y'all, I'm Mr. Matthews and I'll be teaching your drama class this year. We have lots of good stuff for y'all to do this year. <laughs> and we were a bunch of Las Vegas snippets going, Who the fuck is this guy? And he turned out to be really cool. He took our class on a trip to New York and we got to run amok. Like maybe a little more than we should have, but we got to see Broadway shows. We got to eat really good food. We were also witnesses to him flipping out when somebody hawked a big loogie out of a window in Chinatown and it landed on him. He was like, oh my God, somebody just spit on me. <laughs> so funny. <sighs> but you know, Gus loved me and he believed in me. It's because of him that I had the opportunity to audition for this little college in East Texas. It wasn't really feasible for me to be there. My mom actually taped my audition like on a VHS tape and we sent it in. You have to understand that back then, taping auditions wasn't a thing. But it's because of Gus. It's because of Gus that I have this life right now. This life is Gus's fault. I, I own this place. I pay the lease on this. All these contents, this whole business, it's all mine. When I realized that it was coming time for me to have a salon, I, I had this list of things that I had to have as I was looking at spaces, okay? I needed it to be a turnkey thing because I didn't want the expense of a big build out. I also didn't want like a bunch of chairs or a bunch of stylists, too much drama. I had to be able to pay for this space by myself so that if there wasn't a person here, I could afford it. And you know, working with stylists, oh my God, it's like, it's like herding fucking cats. I mean, every day it's like, well, that's not how we did it at Ulta. Or, you know, she is too slow and, and she's always late. And she is stealing my clients all the time. Oh, God. You know, when we were shut down for eight weeks, I spent that whole time just looking for money, just trying to fight and just trying to figure out how to keep this place open so that my staff had a place to work. But you know, it's okay. And Gus would be proud, I think. Yeah. Hey, come on in.